Hi, welcome to Everyday and Adventure. Today we're working on my XR500. Last time I worked on this bike, I failed miserably. So today we're going to be taking the seat off, tank off, pulling the carburetor off, replacing the valve on the fuel tank, and replacing the needle and seat in the carburetor. Assuming all the parts I bought magically work. So, they sent me the wrong uh, needle and seat. Uh, I think that the needle depth is correct, so I'm going to go ahead and install the new needle with the uh, rubber tip instead of the one, the old one with the brass tip and just see if it works. And then uh, I still have to do the fuel valve on the tank and we'll see if they sent me the right one for that. We're just going to hang the needle on the float. And then slide it on down into the seat assembly slide the pin back in yeah, come on yeah this is always such a nightmare And the wind doesn't help either. Okay, there we go. Got her inserted and seated all the way down. So you can check, sort of check the function of these by uh, blowing into the into the fuel line and then moving your floats up and down. So it's working pretty good. I mean, at least for air. So uh, we're gonna. Put the the float bowl back on and uh, get this slap back onto the bike and then go from there. So I found this vent line, uh, pretty sure it's for my pit bike. Occasionally, when you need to stretch an end out, you can take a screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, and just kind of wiggle it in there. And that gives you a, kind of a pre-stretch before you go to actually put it over the nipple that you're trying to get it over. And you know, just blow through it, make sure there's not any loose rubber in, in there. That'll give you sort of a pre-stretch so you can go ahead and try and get it stretched over and of course it won't but if you're gonna try you might as well at least try the easiest way possible you 
because the very next solution is to cut it and then you realize it's going to split where you cut it and it never works out never ever works out sometimes things this old just do not want to work no mo they don't want you to make them work at least this is close wow this is even too small even for this it should flow enough fuel i'm not that hard on the throttle all the time perfect now we have a nice soft fuel line that i guarantee is going to rot out from the ethanol and the gasoline it's like i don't know three seconds but that's okay for now because i literally just need this to run for like today i wanted to